What's going on guys? So we are here at the RV factory. This is the Lux showroom. I mean, check these things out. If you haven't seen the videos that I've produced on the Lux product, I produced a lot of videos on Lux, the factory assembly line, all of that about three to three and a half years ago now. Uh, you need to go back and check those out. But more importantly, you need to check this video out because we are gonna tour an absolutely beautiful new floor plan from the folks at Lux. And this thing is massive, 48 feet long. I mean, check this out. You wanna talk about king of the road in terms of towables, you want to talk about something that you're going to need a specialty vehicle to tow, like that upfitted utility body works truck up there. That's a Ram 5500, I believe. Um, you need the payload capacity. You need the towing capacity. You need all the capacities of a heavy duty truck and it really beyond most heavy duty trucks to haul something like this. This is the Lux Elite 46 RKB. And when I talk about elite, uh, everything about this unit is elite, including the weight. And we're gonna go into much more detail. Hang tight, I'll be right back. So one of the difficult things about filming a Lux is to try to capture the whole thing in the frame. When you're talking 48 feet long, you're talking about four to five feet longer than even some of the longest traditional toy haulers that you see, the luxury toy haulers, the big grand design triple axle units. You're talking about a unit that has a dry weight that's several thousand pounds heavier than the gross vehicle weight rating of those units, which means the totally loaded up weight rating of some of these other things like a Voltage or a Grand Design or any of those still weigh several thousand pounds less than this does empty, which is crazy. And the reason for that is when you pay for customization, when you pay for the highest quality, you're paying for a lot of stuff to be added to your RV, a lot of construction perks, and this certainly has them. But yeah, this thing is super big. Um, I know the numbers on it right now. It has a 27,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. You heard me right, 27,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating with approximately a ton of cargo capacity, which actually makes sense because it's actually quite difficult to load up an RV with over a ton worth of accessories and things you might bring with you. But 26,999 pounds gross vehicle weight rating, that's crazy. And again, the cargo capacity is 2,094 pounds. It rides on independent suspension, so you're not gonna see an individual axle rating here. Um, it runs the Moride independent suspension, which we'll take a closer look at when we get around to it. But it has 17.5 inch Cooper H rated tires, which are a very good tire. Uh, full body paint, and when I say full body paint, this is gonna really, really go to the hearts of those who constantly tell me some of the RVs I view don't have full body paint because the side of the slide outs aren't paint matched to the rest of the theme. But as you can see here, they are clearly continuing the stripes and the paint onto the side of the slide out walls. Now you will see some cable driven slides on some of their smaller slides, and it's hard to call this one a smaller slide, but the way they set up the equipment on these specific units is really, really appropriate. So they put the right slide technology for the right type of slide out that it's gonna be supporting. Everything else is pretty much gonna be super, super heavy duty, much larger rack and pinion through frame slide out mechanisms than and most of what you see on the market, um, including a lot of the heavier brands that you think generally are synonymous with you know, heavy duty equipment. This specific unit's gonna have a Gen Y Torsion Flex pin box up front with a traditional king pin, even though they do make this with a gooseneck connection as well. And I guess depending on your tow vehicle, you may prefer to have a goose ball or you may prefer to have a really, really cool high end, check that out, trailer saver connection. So this is going to be one of the best fifth wheel hitches you can buy in the market. So the actual amount of weight that a unit like this would transfer to the back of a truck like this is going to be probably about 4,500 pounds or more. So you want to make sure that you have a hitch, more importantly, a truck that can handle the weight of the hitch you're going to need, plus the pin weight that's going to transfer to it. And if you look in the bed of this truck, it has the cool trail saver hitch. This thing is absolutely awesome, super cushy. It has a 5,000 pound pin weight capacity and a 32,000 pound towing capacity. So this is the type of setup you would want. And this is actually manufactured by Hensley. A lot of folks are big fans of this product, but this is the type of setup you'd want with the type of truck that you're looking for. 
We're gonna take a quick tour of the inside of this thing and then we'll come back out and show you what the outside's all about. All right, we're gonna go up the Lippert solid steps. I love what they've done here. So they have this really cool kind of overlay onto the steps, which definitely gives the Lippert solid step a different appeal. That is really cool. You can see all of your marker lights, everything super high end. You have the new safety rail handle right here. One of the illuminating handrails right here as well. Check this out though. Again, we're talking about a fifth wheel that's 48 feet long and they're gonna have a version of this that's four feet shorter. So the kitchen area will be a little shorter if you want something that's a little shorter. We'll start here in the living room and then work our way to the back. So everything you see is solid wood. This is really, really high end. It's not just decorative. It's not just, you know, foam or plastic and it's attached and assembled in a very residential way. So again, everything you see is hardwood. Your batten strips are hardwood. Uh, when you look at the furniture, all the furniture is the same type of furniture you would see in super high-end motor coaches. So it's not your typical LCI furniture. The floor is actually hand-laid tile floor. So this is residential flooring in here. This isn't linoleum that's rolled up. So when you look at this type of flooring and then you look at the the materials they use here in the slide outs. This is more like a rug material, but that's because they're using real hand laid flooring inside of here. Nice Furion 40 inch wide fireplace. And again, there are some components in here that are relatively standardized, components that you would see in other brands as well, uh, mainly because it fits, it's the right component. But then when you look at things that like surround it, that's all real tile. So that's not faux tile. Right, when you look at some of the electronics, LG, you're not seeing some of those off name brands. And the key here is that once you add up all of the upgrades to a unit like this, you're gonna see really quickly that some of the other brands, even brands that you typically would associate with being luxury brands, are decontented to the max compared to something like this. Now we talked about the sidewalls and I wanted to show you the sample they have here. So that's Luan, but that's not what they use anymore. They use Asdel on both sides, and then they have their fiberglass, which is super thick fiberglass on the exterior portion. And then they have this graphite infused foam on the inside. This is really, really cool. And that's a three inch thick sidewall. So if you want to talk about true insulation, this is the kind of stuff that you want to see in an ultra high end fifth wheel. All right, as we kind of walk around, I'm going to talk about some things that you can't just readily see or at least if you see it, you may kind of not understand exactly what you're looking at. Let me give you an example of it. So the interior wall board. So typically that's a wall board that you're gonna see in most RVs. This is actually a padded wall board. It's Asdell on the other side, and this is a padded material, similar to what you might see in a super high-end motorhome. But even on super high-end motorhomes, some of them don't pad the walls. They only pad the ceiling. And this also has a padded ceiling as well. So you have padded walls, padded ceiling, Everything here is hardwood. And I think they said it was hickory, but everything in here is true hardwood. You're not dealing with any press board. You're not dealing with any composites. It's all real hardwoods that you would see in a high-end home. You know, even a lot of homes use press board and particle board. So, um, you know, the, the wood treatment that you get inside of a Lux can even exceed what you would get in some high-end homes. Um, you're gonna see all your higher end brands. So a way to decontent some units sometimes is just to switch from a brand like MCD, which makes a very expensive day night roller shade to an off brand that doesn't label theirs. So not only do you still have the MCD roller blades, but you have both the day and night roller blades, which is really cool. And these are all power. So you can control these through the remote and the controls to raise or lower everything as well. When you talk about lighting, some brands try to figure a way to give you good lighting, but they don't give you great lighting because they don't want to spend the extra money to put lighting everywhere. Check this thing out. I mean, this thing is about as lit up as you could make an RV. It is super, super bright, even though it's really kind of gloomy outside and it's lit up exceptionally well. It's basically where you can put a light, let's put a light. And they did a great job there. When we talk about things like windows, all the windows are insulated dual pane windows. So you're paying for an extremely expensive window, which is really gonna help maximize the whole function of the unit, including the padded sidewalls, three inch thick, graphite infused, Asdell on both sides, thicker Asdell on the outside, really high end fiberglass on the outside of that, full body paint. You need to have insulated windows. 
to make sure that the hot or cold air on the inside stays in, right? You want to have a conditioned space in something like this that can withstand just about any climate you could ever take it to. Uh, it has three air conditioning units, all whisper quiet, all ducted. So you can see one unit back there. There's one unit on the middle right here, and then there's one in the back, and they're all heat pump units as well. So you're talking about an RV that has a significantly upgraded AC system over what typically you would get. Right now they have the heat pump running, and it's actually really nice and warm inside of here, even though it's about 40 degrees outside, and the door's open. All right, stepping up the stairs. You have all of your controls here. It's all ASA in command, and you basically have the ability to control everything, including dim lights and make them bright again. It's all touch screen. Again, all padded. This is even a continuation of padded walls, even though this isn't technically a sidewall. Really, really nice, kind of a Corian granite looking countertop here. You have some bar stools under here, and then you have more of that material right here as well. LG appliances. I don't know if they're all LG, but I know the stove and oven. This is an Insignia. This is absolutely an upgraded unit, which is really cool that they made these for RVs. You're starting to see these in a lot of different RVs, but it's absolutely a higher end stove oven than what you typically would get. So you do have a four burner gas stove. You also have the LG convection microwave, and then you have your French door refrigerator right here. Also LG with ice maker. You can see the contrasting tones between the countertops. So you have a good amount of prep space on each side. Absolutely beautiful, real tile on the walls. Goes all the way around. Again, all real woods. Everything's real hardwood. Beautiful lighting, beautiful sconces, all LED, so it's really energy efficient. You have some great backlighting and some hidden lighting around things as well for accents. This island, it's not really an island because it's attached, but this peninsula, whatever you want to call it, is absolutely gorgeous. So you can imagine if they're going to shorten this kitchen in some of the floor plans by about four feet, that means this portion right here would come into probably right around here. They might move this out a little bit, kind of change the design of this slightly. But if you want a 48 foot version of this, you can get a 48 foot version. If you want a 44 foot version of it, you can get a 44 foot version. It all, I guess, ultimately depends on what you're comfortable towing. Um, but this thing is absolutely gorgeous. And then you have different storage options here. I'm gonna imagine everything is soft closing. Yep, everything's dovetailed. You can see the actual dovetail right there. Beautiful, beautiful cabinetry. All very, very nicely done. Place for your cutting boards. Then you got power and charging everywhere. So you got USB 110, USB 110, uh, let's see up here. You don't have any power up there. That is a great spot for a coffee maker, by the way. More power back here. Check that out, real residential blinds. Those are really nice. Again, you have all of your blinds, MCD roller shades over here. You have a really kind of compact dinette area that can, I believe this area can be extended out. There we go. So you can extend this out. You can seat more people right here. I believe you can probably move those chairs over here. There may be a couple more chairs, but then you have a leaf that can go into this area right here to extend this out as well. But this is that same super heavy dense material that you're seeing in all the other countertop areas. Very nice. And you got more storage down here, more storage on the other side. Again, all LED lighting. This thing is absolutely amazing. All right, let's kind of work our way back. So this is gonna be a half bath. Beautiful door, hardwood door, residential grade door, real glass, gorgeous. And then here is the half bath. Of course, it's a porcelain foot flush toilet. Got a medicine cabinet, beautiful, beautiful cabinetry all around. Lots of storage, lots of wardrobe space. Owl holder right here. More space, here's your toilet paper holder. And you can see how nice and clean everything is ran and how everything's supported as well. They even put little little clips to hold or clamps to hold your PEX tubing. Check out this sink. This is like something you'd see on a cruise ship. 
beautiful, beautiful sink. 110, absolutely gorgeous backsplash right here. And that's real, that's all real tile. Got your medicine cabinet up here and more storage above. Beautiful. Okay. Here's your ASA in command system right here. So this is where you would control just about everything. Have a lot of a uh, lot of features right here. All right, stepping up. Well, before we step up there, let's take a look at the cabinetry right here. As you can see, all your controls. Don't touch the solar panel controls. You have your Truma AquaGo tankless hot water system. Now, this has a tremendous amount of solar on top. It has eight 200 watt panels. Not kidding you. So that's 1600 watts of solar. It has a bunch of Victron equipment up front. It has eight 100 amp hour batteries. So you have 800 amp hours of, of battery capacity and you have 1600 watts of solar feeding into them. So this is it's kind of as off grid as it gets. Stepping into the master suite. Absolutely beautiful. And this is huge. This is a king size bed and you have a good amount of space on each side of it. You have plenty of room to get onto the bed. And this is where you start looking at mattresses that are actually really, really high end mattresses. So if we look at this one, you can tell this is a heavy pillow top mattress versus a traditional, you know, uh, whatever you want to call the mattresses they put in most RVs. I don't know if it lifts up. It does lift up very easily too. So underneath the bed you have some cutting boards a few other things but it's all trimmed off very nicely so you got a lot of extra storage down there all right then you have more controls for lighting over there we have our additional air conditioning system here it's blowing out nice warm air again a heat pump system nice sliding door over here again soft touch ceiling along with really, really nice real wood batten strips. So when you think about an RV and how components fail after a while, it's because sometimes what you think might be real wood may not be real wood, and different climates can affect how that wood acts. All hardwoods, this is absolutely beautiful. I mean, just check this out. This is something you would expect to see in like a million dollar, you know, motor coach. Over here you have more of your in-command controls. And you have another one right there. So you have controls on both sides, which is really nice. Getting up in the morning, you wanna turn lights on, things like that. Another LG Smart TV right here. Lots of storage. Very nice. Okay, stepping around, let's take a look at the bathroom. All right. So this is a pretty dang incredible bathroom. First of all, you have dual vanities right here and it looks amazing I mean this is that same material you can see it's all one piece absolutely gorgeous nice upgraded fixtures you've got three medicine cabinets on the wall plenty of room plenty of storage in there a lot of lighting in here nice puck lighting above it real tile backsplash right here as well that is super nice I mean you got just so many things in this unit that really make it stand out as a residential RV around to the shower I am gonna imagine that even this is gonna be a higher end material it is so this right here feels like real stone that is not just typical plastic and check out your shower fixture in here that is amazing this is a huge shower too easily able to accommodate folks who are gonna be taller like you could probably easily be upwards of about six five and comfortably fit in there a lot of room around the toilet porcelain foot flush toilet this is gonna be where your washer and dryer live. And it's gonna have the Splendid unit already installed. Stackable unit with plenty of space right here. So if you need to do laundry, you're not gonna be cramped into a small space. It's plenty of space, not crammed at all. Really, really good setup. All magnetic latches. And then here is the front closet. So what's a super high-end luxury coach without a ton of closet space. And they have definitely given you a ton of closet space. So big that I can actually step inside of it. So you got drawers, all hardwood, dovetailed, real wood. I mean, this thing's awesome. Then you have a nice little shelf here, power, spot for your shoes. 
more drawers, power over there. You have strip lighting across the top and you have puck lighting in here as well. So you got a lot of lighting. But check out this bathroom. Is this not an absolutely gorgeous bathroom? Again, this is the type of bathroom you would expect to see in a super high-end luxury motorhome. All right, very cool. What do you guys think? That's kind of cool, right? You need a CPAP machine. You definitely have enough room over here and you even have enough room over there for one. Plus you have space up here. I don't know if they put power in there. They don't. It'd be kind of cool to put an outlet right there. But yeah, this is, this is insane luxury. They've done such a good job. Um, anyways, guys, we're gonna step outside, take a look at the outside of this unit because there's a lot of really cool things going on there as well. Okay, we are outside of this Lux Elite. Um, some folks are gonna say, do they still make the Ambition, which was essentially kind of a, a little bit lower trimmed out version of a Lux unit, and they no longer do that. So everything they make now is their higher trim packages. So the Lux Elite up front, again, this thing's gonna have a lot of really cool features to it, but we'll start from the front and work our way back. As you can see, it has the Gen Y upgraded pin box. This is a Torsion Flex pin box, and this uses a traditional King pin, so again, you can hook up to a truck like this. And then coming back, you can see that this does have the Cummins Onan generator installed. And this is the QG 6500 LP. Same generator we have on our Brookstone. So 6500 watt generator. You can see four of your eight batteries. There's four more of these Renogy uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. And you have all Victron equipment up here for your solar charging and inverters, which is super cool, as well as your charging system. You have your uh, hydraulic disc brake controls over there as well. All your power, look how neat everything is ran. You wanna talk about you know, a unit that definitely gets a clean treatment, this is one of them. Really, really nice front basement storage area that's very, very well equipped. Has the equalizer auto leveling system. Again, massive pistons. This is a very, very heavy duty equalization setup. Okay, coming around. Incredibly thick baggage doors. They're the thickest in the industry. And, you know, whenever you look at baggage doors, this is just one of those areas that they could go cheaper and you probably would never know. But this is one of those areas when you look at luxury units, you want to know that they're putting the best of everything on, not just a few things. So these baggage doors are super, super thick, very dense, very heavy, which is a good thing. You even have very dense, heavy propane doors right here. And you have 40 pound propane cans. On the inside right here, huge pass through storage. This does ride on a drop frame. You can see the steel structure up top here which is far different than most RVs that you see in aluminum bath deck structure here. But because the Lux units are so large and heavy, they have a frame that's very, very much structural all the way across the top and the bottom, not just the bottom like you see with most units. You have your power converter here. I like how things are put in places where you can work on them if you need to, where you can remove them and replace them if you need to. And over here, you can see that you have your in-command master control panel over here that everything feeds into. This has a surge guard in it as well, 50 amp. Check that out. So <laughs> this is part of your in-command system. You can see how all the wires are bundled and ran very, very neatly throughout the unit. This is something you typically don't see. And there are your four additional lithium iron phosphate batteries. So you have eight 100 amp hour batteries in this unit. It's crazy. Even the ductwork is hung like you would expect to see it in a home just extremely clean. All of your PEX is insulated. They've covered it all up with foam. All of your wires that are typically visible are loomed. Again, you wanna talk about something that puts them above just about any other luxury brand. Save a few, there's a couple other brands that are really, really high end, but those are complete custom brands. Lux will make you a unit based off of several floor plans that they offer, but they'll customize the heck out of it to pretty much however you want it. Again, all automotive paint. You have a Bluetooth speaker out here, power out here as well. Those solid steps we talked about earlier. Really, really nice marker lights. Looking down here, you can see the frame structure. Again, this is the Moride Independent Suspension System. Check that out. That is awesome. 
It's on a 12 inch I-beam frame with a two inch box section below it. And this is the heaviest gauged steel I-beam frame Lippert makes. So this is not that, <laughs> not that lightweight I-beam that you typically see on most fifth wheels. And then you can see the reinforcement added by the folks over at Moride for their suspension. Absolutely insanely huge rack and pinion through frame slide system. And then if we go this way, you can probably see the drop frame. So let me warm my way under here. So you can see the drop frame kind of way up there. And it rides on a 10 inch reinforced I-beam drop frame. Cooper Works H-Series tires. It's got the really nice safety rail from Moride. You have your outside TV right here and a really, really nice aluminum door. So this is awesome because this is something you typically wouldn't see in most RVs. LG Smart TV outside. Check out that running gear. All right, back here you have some phenomenal storage. You have storage underneath this slide, which this is one of your kitchen dinette slides. Then as we look over here, you can see you have access to smaller side storage hatches. And we come around back. This does not have a fiberglass back cap on it because it has this access door. Again, really, really thick baggage door. Really, really nice higher end strip LED lighting. So these are higher end than what you typically see that are a lot skinnier than these. This is the type of stuff you would see on really high end like gooseneck trailers and things like that. Fully custom made bumper from the guys over at Body Works. So the same folks who actually customize the truck make this bumper for the Lux fifth wheels. And this thing is super cool. This is like incredibly thick. And then you have this huge storage area in the back. And I've told you guys several times that I absolutely love this storage area. And I'm pretty sure you could get this equipped with like a slide out tray if you wanted to. This is great for like kayaks, uh, mountain bikes, e-bikes, you know. And what's nice about this is when you get out to your RV and you're ready to go camping, it's cool to just be able to load this up with all your camping stuff so you don't have to be climbing in and out of your RV every time you need to move something in and out. You get everything loaded in here, take off. When you get to your campground, you move stuff from here into your RV. Rigid lights. I mean, there's so many cheap alternatives you could put on versus rigid, but they put rigid LED lights here on the back, which is awesome. Very nice thud when you close that. Up here, check this out. So there's a hatch. And this, I believe, is extra storage. At first, I thought this was going to be access into the coach. Maybe it is. I'll have to find out. This might be like a trash access or something like that, but they give you this really large storage hatch on the back. Nice slam latches all the way around. Coming around this way, you have your collapsible ladder on the side. You have scene lighting all the way around, something you typically only see on toy haulers. So they put scene lighting actually to illuminate the outside of this RV as well. Power cord reel for your 50 amp cable, which is indicative of your higher end units. Again, more storage running throughout this area. Outside of your furnace, sewer connections down there. What's kind of funny, and I always like to kind of point this out, is no matter how high end you go on any RV, you're still gonna be dealing with a crap hose that you gotta to connect to, a, to sewer connections at an RV campground. You got your outside lights right here. Another huge rack and pinion slide. These right here are designed to pull this out if it gets stuck inside whenever you're putting the slides in or out. So this kind of just ensures that the seals come out as you pull the slide out. Another sewer connection. Here's your Truma on-demand hot water system. Another furnace, so you actually have two furnaces in this unit. Outside of your exhaust, and then the other side of your pass-through. So this is your water control panel. Everything you need to get connected, park cable, satellite, shower it's all marked very well and inside of here all your plumbing is insulated that is really cool and there's shutoff valves on everything so you have the ability to independently shut things off plus check that out so this actually has a three-stage clear source water filtration system on board that is awesome and that's not inexpensive so whenever we talk about, you know, adding those little things, they could have gone with a cheaper system simply because it's tucked out of the way. You, you typically don't see this. 
but they actually went with the clear source system, which is arguably the best system on the market for this triple filtration. Plus your water pump down there, easy to service. Very cool. This has all the cameras on it as well, including the side view Furion camera, the rear view camera. And this gives you the ability to kind of monitor everything that's going on while you're traveling down the road. But what do you guys think? When we talk luxury and you're looking for the best of the best, this is absolutely one of the best of the best fifth wheels you can buy. Super custom, uh, super high-end materials. They do so many things right. And this is one of those brands that if you're looking for the ultimate, if you're looking for the best of the best, which believe it or not, I get emails just about weekly from folks saying, I'm looking for the best of the best fifth wheel. I don't care what it costs, that's what I'm looking for. What do you suggest? This certainly is on that list and they make an absolutely gorgeous unit. Slide top awnings all the way around. I think the one thing I forgot to show you were the awnings on this side. There are two awnings, two very long awnings and they, they pretty much extend from here all the way back to there and they cover this side up really well. But this is a beautiful, beautiful fifth wheel. But definitely leave a comment below. I would love to know your thoughts on this thing. Is this something you could see yourself getting into? Um, is this even remotely in the price range of something you might want to get into? And if so, what do you think of what you've seen inside? Let me know. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.